Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a style guide for Alexa Chung. Alexa has been described as the darling of the fashion world. She started her career out as a model, but over the years, she's really been able to carve a place for herself as a fashion personality in general. She's written books, done TV presenting, contributed to Vogue, and she also started her own fashion line, which sadly just announced she's closing the fashion line, but we'll get onto that in a little bit. If you caught my recent video where I was talking about the so-called resurgence of 2010 twee Tumblr era fashion, I did mention Alexa specifically because she really was queen, fashion queen in this era. She had that whole British cool it girl vibe going on. She was a little bit mod, a little bit twee, a little bit hipster. She was also a bit preppy, but then also edgy at the same time. Like she had a very eclectic and quirky style, but at the same time, her style was always very classic. You can clearly tell the difference from outfits that she wore around 2010 to the outfits that she wears today, but at the same time, none of those 2010-ish outfits have aged that badly. I mean, you could totally get away with wearing them today, or at least wearing the individual items and styling them in a more up-to-date way. And Alexa has done really well with maintaining that cool it girl image over the years. And I think that's because she has been able to move on to the next thing, go with the flow. She hasn't really just been stuck, you know, back in Tumblr days. She also doesn't have that sort of intimidating, unapproachable thing that a lot of fashion models have. Watching her YouTube videos, she seems like a really fun and chill person. So I think that's how she's managed to stay relevant, just by being like a cool, nice person. Now, if we're going to be talking about Alexa Chung's style, then we have to go right back to the beginning and talk about her Glastonbury style, Glastonbury Music Festival. Every year, Alexa goes to Glastonbury and every year she gets photographed and it becomes a, what is she wearing this year? We all have to see the pictures. And fun fact, she was actually scouted to be a model at a music festival when she was 16. So music festivals are really Alexa's thing. And along with people like Kate Moss, Alexa has really solidified that sort of music festival fashion scene. Every year, without fail, she's spotted wearing a barbour jacket. I'm still not sure if I'm saying that right, barbour. I feel like, <laughs> I always feel like I'm saying like the elephant barbour. So she's always wearing a barbour jacket and hunter boots because Glastonbury, not that I've been, but it gets very muddy. So you've got to be wearing hunter boots or some kind of Wellington. And one of her early outfits that she used to repeat a lot when she went to Glastonbury was wearing the hunter boots, a pair of denim shorts, a striped Breton tee, and then the barbore waxed jacket over the top. Over the years, she's done different variations of her Glastonbury outfit. I quite like when she did this little metallic mini dress with the hunter boots and then the rain jacket. I thought that was a cute little glitzy moment, but still very Glastonbury. And also, I know this video isn't really about her personal life and her boyfriends, but there's no denying that Alexa has dated some pretty attractive guys over the years and I love that she always gets photographed with the boyfriend like he's an accessory he's sort of like behind her like trailing behind her or next to her and just kind of like yeah this is my cute accessory this year for Glastonbury her iconic Glastonbury outfits became really full circle in her fashion career when her fashion line collaborated with Barbour to do a line of jackets in her personal style, she's always mixed in British heritage pieces and it doesn't really get more heritage British countryside than a classic waxed jacket. So this collaboration between Alexa Chung and Barbour really was the perfect fit. When designing her jackets, she said, the top pockets once more commonly used to store sugar lumps for horses are now an offer to stash your favorite lipstick so you can leave your handbag at home. That is so cute. I love that imagery. You can still buy limited pieces from this range. I think I saw some on John Lewis. They're a little bit harder to find because of the fashion line closing. And I kind of wish this is a collaboration that could keep going, even though she doesn't have her fashion line. Another collaboration with a heritage British brand is her collaboration with Mulberry, which is a designer bag brand or a house. Designer, designer house, they call them. Back in 2010, Alexa became somewhat of a muse 
for Mulberry and they designed the Alexa bag which was based off her and her style which is so cool. Imagine having a handbag, it's like the Jane Birkin bag. That is it's a cool thing to have, a handbag inspired by you. So they launched the Alexa bag back in 2010 and it really quickly became one of their most popular best-selling styles. Inspired by the much-loved 2000 style of Alexa Chung and incorporating the signature Mulberry Postman's Lock hardware, the Alexa quickly became a house design classic and the most sought-after Mulberry bag of its time when it was launched in 2010. I don't know why I stopped the sentence there, okay. Its collector's item status was sealed when the Victoria and Albert Museum featured it in its bags, Inside Out exhibition in 2020, alongside other luxury bag design classics from across the globe. The design of the Alexa bag reminds me of that classic British satchel, that sort of school child, sort of academic satchel. And I think this would actually be a great designer bag to invest in because it's quite timeless. It's really not going to go out of style. And I like that you can get it in different sizes. Last year in 2021, Alexa was invited to actually design a collection of the Alexa bags. And she went for a really 70s inspired design. So there was lots of poppy, like a turquoise color, a green color, but then she also did those 70s browns as well. Okay, so as I've mentioned a few times, her fashion line, Alexa Chung, it's eponymously named. <laughs> I love the word eponymously. I want to say hippopotamus. It was hippopotamously named Alexa Chung. As of making this video, she announced that she was going to close it on her Instagram a few weeks ago. And I went onto the website yesterday and it's been shut down. It's just a landing page. So the fashion line started in 2017. So it's been going for five years now. And the designs were really an extension of her personal style. And I like this description that they have of the brand on the outnet. It's girlish charm with a rock and roll edge. And I think that really encapsulates what Alexa Chung's style is. The main reason cited for the closure was the COVID pandemic, which is totally understandable. It's really hard to run a fashion line at the best of times. It's just a very fickle industry, I feel, let alone during a global pandemic. Definitely disappointing, but at the same time, I feel like she's been through many cycles or, or seasons, I guess, in her career. So I think this will be her chance to move on to the next thing. And who knows, she might have another fashion line at some point in the future. The official Alexa Chung site has closed down, but you can still get some of her pieces on the Outnet. If you don't know the Outnet, it's Netta Porter's like uh, sale site, discount site. And I've managed to find some really, really good items on the outnet over the years. I think their, um, their warehouse is in Hong Kong and they have really great designer pieces, um, that are really heavily discounted. Let's get on to talking about the specific pieces that Alexa loves to wear, how you can channel some Alexa Chung energy into your outfits. And I put together a few outfits myself to sort of recreate some Alexa Chung looks. I think Vogue put it best when describing her style. I feel like I have a lot of quotes in this video, but I like it. They said, Chung is the queen of barbore jackets and hunter boots, Breton tees and dungarees, A-line miniskirts and ballet pumps, slip dresses and converse. Her style, like that of her own beloved fashion icon, Jane Birkin, is built on the classics. That quote from Vogue just mentioned dungarees. I call them overalls. Same thing. And this is definitely a style staple in Alexa's wardrobe. Long overalls, short overalls, overall dresses I'm pretty sure, black overalls, blue denim, white. She loves an overall or dungaree. I used to have a pair of black overalls. I had a long one and a short one. I got them from ASOS and I'm pretty sure they were top shop. This is like back in the day, like you know, Tumblr days, and I wore them to death. I loved those overalls. And I really want to get another pair of long black overalls and start wearing them again, because I think it's such a cute look. So let me know if you have any suggestions um, for overalls that you like. I found these ones on Bowden, and they look good. They have them in lots of different colors too, but you just never know until you try them, do you? Another thing Alexa loves to do is mix feminine clothing items with those more grungy rock and roll items. And she does this a lot by wearing black leather. 
She wears black leather A-line mini skirts, mini shorts, leather jackets, and I really like this dress that she has with the pink with the black leather in the same dress. I think that's really cool. I really like the juxtaposition. She does this a lot when she's wearing black leather shorts or skirts. She'll normally go for quite a feminine blouse on top. I really love the mashup of the girly and the grunge. Another British style staple that Alexa loves is a trench coat. She has worn many forms and colors of a trench coat over the years. I saw this picture of her, of this trench coat outfit, and thought that I could totally recreate this outfit with stuff that I have. So for the outfit underneath, I've gone for all black. Alexa loves an all black outfit too. Uh, so I've got this little sweater from Zara and some shorts. And then I put on this white contrast color because Alexa also, she loves a collar, as do I. Especially back in her tweed age, she was the queen of a collar, but she still definitely likes the black with white collar look today. And this isn't actually a shirt, this is actually a little faux collar. I got this off Yes Style, and this is the best invention ever. I don't know why I didn't get one of these years ago. So basically you just put it on as if it's a normal shirt, then put your jumper or sweater over the top. There's a lot of these on Yes Style, a lot of listings. Um, and when I was choosing mine, I was really, really careful, looked really closely at review photos because a lot of them actually didn't have stitching along here. I don't know if you can tell because that's white. I'm definitely going to go back and buy different types of these. They have like plaid ones and lace ones, so many different types. And then for my trench coat, I have this one I got from Jack Wills four-ish years ago. I used my little Furla dome bag, which is a perfect match for the dome bag that she has, her little black dome bag. I know that she is actually wearing the Sarah Flint Perfect Emma pumps, but I just went for my black ballet flats because I wanted to go with the all black and Alexa loves a ballet flat too. Moving on to the next outfit, Alexa loves to wear yellow. I think it's probably her favorite color. She's worn it so many times over the years and it looks amazing on her. She really loves a, like a pastel-y, lemony kind of yellow, but she also wears all different types like mustard yellow. And something that I have noticed that she's done pretty much every time she wears yellow is she actually accessorizes with black, which I would never think to do. To me that I would immediately be like, bumblebee. <laughs> Everyone's gonna think I'm a bumblebee, but she looks so good. Yellow and black, such a combination. I actually borrowed this dress from my sister, Simone, because I just thought this is the perfect Alexa Chung dress. She would totally wear this. This is from a brand called Age, and I feel like the color is so Alexa. The collar, the color and the collar are so Alexa. I did have to try accessorizing with black, which was a little bit scary, so... <laughs> Black ballet flats again, and then I cinched in the waist of the dress with my black Tory Burch belt. And then I thought, let's just go the whole hog. Let's go really yellow and black here. And also the leather thing that Alexa loves and did this faux leather jacket over the top. You know what? I think Alexa is definitely onto something with this whole yellow and black thing. This is not an outfit that I would normally style for myself. I would never think to do this, but it looked so good. It was a really cool outfit. She really likes layering too, especially a t-shirt or a blouse under a dress. And then also getting lots of different textures into an outfit, like layering this sort of plasticky leather, what is that called? Patent leather underneath this white dress. I think that's such a cool look. Just the different textures of an outfit can make it really interesting. And then I've also noticed for her red carpet looks, she loves a beaded outfit, a beaded embellishment as she should. She's got a sparkle on the red carpet. For the last outfit that I put together, I thought I should definitely have a go at doing a Glastonbury style outfit. So I tried to do the sort of feminine mix with grunge thing. I have this pink little cami top, this sort of silky pink top, but I paired it with a black denim skirt and this skirt is quite grunge as you can see. It's got a lot of denim, a lot of rips in it. Then I had to do the hunter boots. I actually have red hunter boots, but I just thought that it just wasn't Alexa. It wasn't Glastonbury Alexa. So I borrowed these black hunter boots, again from my sister. Simone actually has quite a Alexa Chung wardrobe, <laughs> now that I think about it. So I borrowed her black ones, because I feel like Alexa wouldn't wear red hunter boots. She would definitely wear black or green. And then I had to be holding a rain jacket. She's always got a jacket in her arms. While we're talking about Alexa's style, 
I do have to mention her hair as well. She just has the ultimate effortless cool girl hair. That sort of long bob and a lot of the time she has a fringe. Just looks so cool. I feel like every girl has gone into the hairdresser and showed a picture of Alexa Chung. The age old dilemma. Should I cut a fringe or should I leave it alone? And there is my style guide for Alexa Chung. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. It sort of like boosts it out there. So I'm always really grateful for the likes. And then also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.